What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Arcade Final Fight. Who remembers this game? I know I spent a lot of time in my teen years playing this game. It was one of the first arcades that I just sunk so many quarters into. You know, just spending hours in there playing this game that was so repetitive. I always played as Hagger. He was my favorite character. Big brute. Normally I try to pick like a sexy chick to play with. But this game just lacked femininity. There was no women in the game, so I had to pick this giant fucking hawk. And uh, he's he's the mayor or governor, either one. And his daughter was kidnapped, and you gotta go and basically attack anybody you see. Just imagine that, though. You're walking down the street, you see some big ass dude walking toward you. He just grabs you and flips you upside down, jumps into the air, and slams you on the ground. And you were just walking to your aunt Sally's house, and all of a sudden you get fucked up. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about. The PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the video games that are available for, play, for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One for 2014. And uh, this list was compiled by GameSpot.com. There will be links in the description for you guys to check out this information. I was browsing over it and I started to notice you know, some pretty major differences here as far as the available games and the stuff that's going to be available this year as well as the to be announced stuff and I want to go over with you guys and kind of give you guys a look at the exclusives and uh, get your your feedback on it. I want to hear what you guys got to say about this because basically it's about the games and that is true it is about the games and uh, I want to know what dynamic of that statement is true is it about particular games is it about the number of games is it about the exclusives and uh, I want I want to hear what you guys got to think about this but I'm gonna start with the PlayStation 4 PS4 has available in 2014, so this list does not include games, uh, you know, the, the release games like uh, Killzone, Shadowfall, and Knack. Those games were released in 2013, so they will not be on this list. This is 2014 and forward, so the games are available in 2014 and are available right now. They have 47 of them, 47, that's a lot of games. And the exclusives that are available right now, I'm going to go through this quick list. Don't Starve, Outlast, which is a really fun, scary horror game. I'm hearing rumblings of Outlast coming to the Xbox One. I don't know if it's true or not yet. Keep your eyes peeled because it just might be. Dead Nation, Apocalypse Edition, Steam World Dig, Infamous Second Son, Mercenary Kings, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 14 Online, A Realm Reborn, Octodad, Deadliest Catch, MLB 14 The Show, Stick It to the Man, Exclamation Point, Pixel Junk Shooter Ultimate, Entwine, which was a, which was just reve revealed and released at E3, and War Thunder. So they got, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 exclusives available and 47 games available for the PlayStation 4 right now. It's a pretty big deal. So moving on to the Xbox One side of things, the Xbox One, while it's doing well, uh, if you ask me right now, these numbers really can't compare, and that's why I wanted to make this video. The Xbox One has 23 games available right now in 2014, compared to, to Sony's 47. So, uh, Microsoft has less than half of the available games available on their console uh, that the PS4 has. And uh, that, to me, is kind of a big deal. You guys let me know what you think. The exclusives that they have are... Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, which I'm hearing is coming to the PS4, I'm pretty sure it is. Titanfall, which is probably their biggest exclusive. Ninjitsu, Super Time Force, here we go with this name guys. Ultra Dead Rising 3 Arcade Remix Hyper Edition EX Plus Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. That was fun to say. And Connect Sports Rivals. So they got a total of 6 exclusives for the Xbox One compared to Sony's 13. So that is a pretty big deal and uh, if it is about the games does that matter to you at all now I'm going to continue with this list and let you guys know what's coming out during the summer now I'm not going to list these games I'm just going to tell you how many are coming and I'm going to list the exclusives PS4 for the summer is going to be releasing 16 games 16 of them four of those games will be exclusives Xbox One is releasing during the summer six games no exclusives so that's 10 more games for PlayStation 4. For the fall and winter months for PlayStation 4, they're going to be releasing 20 games with three exclusives. And for the fall and winter for the Xbox One, this is the this area of space where the Xbox One actually excels. 
they're going to be releasing 27 games with six exclusives. Now, they do have a list of to be announced games for the PS4 and the Xbox One. These games have been announced, but the release dates have not been solidified. PlayStation 4 has 55 games to be released, 19 of those games are exclusives. The Xbox One has 34 games to be released, and 7 of those are exclusives. So I don't, I didn't tally the exact number of these games, but it is pretty obvious that the PlayStation 4 has a pretty big gap uh, as far as overall software coming to the console over the Xbox One. Does this still ring true that it's about games? And if it does, does this list mean anything to you? Uh, and if it is about exclusives, what do you think about these exclusives? Are you holding out for better games? Are you holding out for, you know, Halo? Are you holding out for Uncharted? Let me know in the comment section below. But as of right now, Sony has a shit ton more games available than the Xbox One. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.